Hi, this is a short video on how to use Transformatech's pre-built X12 DFDL message models in IBM Integration Bus version 10. For this video, we're going to use Transformatech's 835X12 DFDL message model and a pre-built XSD to represent a simple XML for us to map to. Then we'll implement a simple message flow that reads an 835 input message from a file and maps a couple fields to their corresponding XML fields and outputs the message to a file. We will then deploy and run a test message through the interface. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now we're in Integration Toolkit. First thing we're going to do is take a look at our message models. We have our X12 generated EDI DFDL. And if you're familiar with EDI X12 elements, you'll see a few of them here. Next thing we'll do is take a look at our output XML. This is just a simple XML. It has a type for the type and an amount for the amount of each transaction. So now we'll create a new application to test this DFDL out. We're going to select new right here and we select the new message flow. And so if you don't have a container application, we're going to create a new one. So we'll go here and we'll choose application because that's what we want. Hit OK. We're going to give it a name. We'll just call it sample app. And we're going to click next here and this will let us select our dependency. Since we're dependent on the XML file for the output and the EDI DFDL, we can select those here and we'll hit finish to create the application. Now we're going to give the message flow name and we'll just call it x12 to xml and hit finish to create it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is add our nodes to the message flow. So we're going to go down to file from the palette. We'll add a file input node, file output node, and in the transform we're going to select a mapping node. So we can go ahead and configure our file output node. We'll give it our input directory and it'll be looking for 835.txt. Next we'll set up the input message parsing for the input. We're going to select DFDL because that's our message model. And inside the message type we're going to hit browse and we'll select our X12 generated EDI DFDL message. Okay, next we're going to do the file output node. We'll add the directory in here. This is going to be the out directory and we'll give it a file name with the XML extension. We'll just call it eob.xml. Okay, now we can wire everything up. Outs to ins across the message flow. Next we can go ahead and configure our mapping. We'll just start by double clicking it. We'll leave these default. Here we're going to select our input and our output messages. Our input is going to be the X12 message and our output is the eob.xml. Click next here. We want to make sure this is the XML NSC domain, so we have an XML message on the way out. We're going to click finish here, and it's going to go ahead and bring us into the mapping node. It's going to auto generate the input and the output uh, message so we know what it looks like, and then we can go ahead and begin mapping. So, as you can see, we have our inputs on the left and our output on the right. So, we can go ahead and start mapping this. So, since we can have an almost an unlimited number of transactions here. So all we have to do to drag this over to, to the, the target transaction this is going to create a for each loop for us. Now for each is going to say for every for each transaction do this mapping. So we're going to go into the for each and we want to map our types. So we know that's the first field in ST so we'll map that across and the second field in BPR so we're going to map that to that to the amount. Then we're all set with the mapping. So we're just going to save the map and we'll save the message flow. And then we're going to want to run it clean just to make sure everything's fresh in our environment. And once that's finished we can actually deploy our application. So we're going to select our app and our shared library and we'll deploy that out to our integration server. Okay, and while that's deploying, we can take a look at our input 835 message. As you can see here, we have two STs that indicates that there's multiple transactions. And you can see the type 835 right next to it. And if you look in the BPR field, there's an amount element is the second element. So let's run our test through. First thing we want to do is start our debugger. This will allow us to view the message as it processes through the message flow. So we're going to go ahead and start that, and once it's started, we're going to add breakpoints into our message flow. This is going to give us a chance to stop the message during processing, 
so we can see exactly what's happening with our message. Now we can start our test by copying the 835 file into our input directory. So we'll just copy it into our in. And this should prompt us to go in the debugger perspective as soon as it picks up the message. So we're going to want to hit yes on that prompt so we can see what's going on. And now if we look, we can see that the message is at the first breakpoint. So we can see that we are under the DFDL parser, we have our X12 message, and we have two transactions. So we can step over the, the mapping. So this will show us what the message looks like going towards output. We have the XML on a C parser, which means we're an XML message. And we should have the EOB message, and we can see we have two transactions, each with a type and an amount. So we'll just hit resume here to write this file out. So we can take a look at it. And we'll go into our output directory to view the file. We're going to view it in Internet Explorer because it makes it a lot easier to view. So as you can see here, we have our type and our amount for each transaction showing that our conversion from an EDI X12 DFDL message model to a custom XML was successful. Thank you for watching this video on leveraging Transformatech's pre-built X12 EDI DFDL message models in IBM Integration Bus version 10. We used a pre-built 835 X12 EDI message model to map to a basic XML layout. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel for more videos and our website transformatech.com for more information. If you want to send us an email with questions about our pre-built X12 EDI message models, you can send us one at info at Thank you.